and we do this in hopefully the true office US style for those who know the show today marks 4,455 days since I asked Riley to be with me Four thousand four hundred and fifty-five days since I stole her number in sixth form and started messaging her in my business lessons. I was doing work, Mum. Always playing shy and asking if she fancied going out. Always a man with words. On this day, I promise to always care for you, to love and comfort you, and to be there when you need me. I'll be with you through the amazing days and the tough days, and allow nothing to stop the feelings we have for each other. I promise to love you always. I promise to be forever grateful that I met you, oh, <laughs> and that we've been able, sorry, to build a life we love together. I promise to support you the way you've always supported me. Oh God. These promises I made to you first in my life. Well done. Well done. Well done. I, Michael Andrew Levers. I, Michael Andrew Levers. Take you, Bridie and more. Take you, Bridie and more. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. <laughs> I, Bridie and more. I, Bridie and more. Take you, Michael Andrew Levers. Take you, Michael Andrew Levers. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. <laughs> Michael and Bridie, this is the start of a new chapter in your lives together. I hope that the feeling of love that you quite clearly have for each other will deepen and grow stronger throughout the years to come. You've declared your commitment in the presence of your witnesses, your family and your friends. Friday, you are looking truly lovely today. I'm certain we'd all agree. Of Bridie's many attributes, she is fiercely loyal, totally dependable, fun loving, and friendly. She loves to talk, and luckily, Michael likes to listen. All of which I'm absolutely certain will make her a perfect partner. Michael, I think you are a very lucky man. Now, there is one story that I've got to mention and it epitomises Michael perfectly. The best Michael you didn't moment yet. And it all starts when he rang me one night and said, I need to get a present for Dad and asked me to come. I thought, a bit weird, not like Michael, but we'll go with it. Fast forward to the day, we walk into a jeweler's and Michael, being the awkward person that he is, walks up to the counter and mentions a ring he's seen online. They had it in stock, brilliant. And I'm thinking, this is the most prepared Michael's ever been for anything in his life. And we walk up, the lady asks, do you know what size she is? And he pulls out a ring. And I'm thinking, Brad is a miracle worker. He's actually come prepared for something. Amazing. I couldn't believe my eyes. <laughs> then I was brought right back to down to reality. 
when he opened his mouth and said, I brought one of her toe rings. That's the point. I burst out laughing, I lost my head, and even the lady behind the counter had a chuckle. <laughs> and if that doesn't sum my club to a T, I don't know what does. Uh, my wife says I never listen, or something like that anyway. Speaking of my wife, first time I said that today, I love you. <laughs> I, was, I was looking for tears. And you look beautiful today, you look beautiful. You made so much effort with today, and I hope it's been amazing like I believe it has.